right now on Fox 5 News at 10. Here we go. All right, Dan Marino, without a shadow of a doubt, anybody who's watched football knows one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Up next, we go one on one with the Hall of Famer, including Marino's new York connection that you can sink your teeth into. Stay with us. Thank you very much. He never got himself a Super Bowl championship ring, but without question, Dan Marino is considered one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Fox 5's Ryan Oselta went one-on-one -on -one with the Hall of Famer on a wide range of topics, among them dominating the Jets, the Super Bowl being played at MetLife Stadium, and pizza. He may have played all of his 17-year Hall of Fame career in Miami with the Dolphins, but Dan Marino is no stranger to New York. Marino was the definition of a Jets killer. Along with the fake spike game in 1994, he threw for more yards and touchdowns against Gang Green than any other team in the NFL. It's not even close, those numbers, what you did to the Jets compared to everyone else. What was it against about beating those guys that, that uh, got you going so well? Well, it was fun. <laughs> no, uh, look, it's a division, you know, if you ask the guys today, I mean, you're playing play the Jets, if you play Buffalo, if you play New England, and, and it, they'll tell you the same thing. It's division games, and it's you get up for them, and it's critical for you to win those games. Despite breaking the hearts of New Yorkers for years, Marino has turned New York into his adopted home. He was in Great Neck recently, opening up the newest Anthony's Coal Fire Pizza, a company he co-owns. And I think just be coming up here so many years playing against the Jets and then uh, a lot of uh, friends and, and, and people from South Florida that have homes up here and they, they commute back and forth and uh, I think that's a part of it. Marino retired after the 1999 season having played in just one Super Bowl, Super Bowl 19 against the 49ers, a game he lost but remembers well. After the game, I wish I could have played it again. You know, I mean, like like a two out of three series or something. Um, you know, it happened so fast, and it was just one of those deals. I felt very comfortable going into the game, and maybe that's the reason why we lost. Now, Marino never won that elusive Super Bowl, but it hasn't taken away his excitement for the big game, especially this time around. Dan has spent enough time in New York to know that the city is going to be the perfect host for the big game. He just says, like all of us, he hopes there's good weather. He can't imagine going through entire playoffs to get to the championship game and then have to play in the snow. I'm Ryan Aselta, Fox 5 News. Ryan, thank you very much. All right. While we're